Hi, this is Alex from the 3D Applications team. In this step-by-step -step tutorial, you will learn the basics for using a Mira or a Viso for image processing and analysis. The example used can easily extend it to other applications and follows a typical workflow of image analysis, image enhancement, feature extraction, and data measures and analysis. This tutorial has the following parts in order, processing grayscale images, 3D versus 2D stack interpretation, binarization of grayscale images, separation, analysis and measures, interactive selection, measure filters, sieves, and label images. You should be familiar with the basic concepts of a mirror or a viso to follow this tutorial. In particular, you should be able to load files to interact with the 3D viewer and to connect modules to data modules. We'll begin by processing images. First of all, you have to load a 3D microtomography volume into a Mira or a Viso by opening the project workroom, clicking open data, and from the Aviso or a Mira root directory in data images, foam, and then foam.am. This object will appear as a green rectangle in the project view. Attach three ortho slices to these data. In the properties panel of the second ortho slice, select the XZ orientation and the YZ orientation in the third ortho slice. Improving image quality is often necessary to obtain the best results with image analysis. The next step illustrates how to process images in a Mira or a Viso with an image filter commonly used for smoothing or noise reduction. To do this, attach a median filter module to the data. You can find it by just typing in MED and selecting median filter. Select 3D in the interpretation port of the median filter. Press on the apply button. Once computed, the result is stored in a new image object, foam.filtered. Reattach the three ortho slice modules to the resulting image. To do so, change the data of each slice in their properties panels. We'll now talk about interpretation as 3D image or 2D image stack. Sometimes it can be useful to interpret the input data of an image processing algorithm as a 3D volume or as a sequence of 2D planes. For instance, a number of image filters and image processing algorithms can be performed on either each XY slice of the volume using a 2D kernel or on the whole volume using a 3D kernel. In some cases, it may be preferred to use the 2D algorithm either for performance or for more appropriate effect depending on the data and the desired outcome. In many Amira and Aviso modules, an interpretation port shows the state of the current module, that is, XY planes or 3D, such as in the median filters module right here. If the state of the port is XY planes, it means that the module will perform on each XY slice. If the state of the port is 3D, it means that the module will perform on the entire three-dimensional image all at once. In some cases, the interpretation port cannot be changed. It's grayed out. For instance, when processing can only be done in XY planes. Binarization. Binarization means transforming a grayscale image into a binary image, that is, a label image with only interior and exterior materials. Threshold binarization is used when the relevant information in the grayscale image corresponds to a specific gray level interval. Thresholding is a simple segmentation method. More sophisticated automatic, semi-automatic, or manual segmentation tools are also available in Amira Aviso. Threshold binarization can be done with the interactive thresholding module, which enables you to set the levels with visual feedback. Let's attach an interactive thresholding module 
to the filtered data. You can interactively modify the threshold values with immediate 2D or 3D visual feedback. The selected pixels appear blue in the displayed image. In the Properties panel, you can set the intensity port to range 0 to 30, for instance. Check and uncheck the 3D option in the Preview Type port to get a 2D only or 3D preview. Press the Apply button to start the module. The output binary image named foam.thresholded is generated in the project view. In the output binary image, all pixels with an initial gray level value lying between the two bounds are set to 1. All the other pixels are set to 0. The interactive thresholding module has created a binary image. For binary images, the Amira or Aviso displays voxels of intensity 1 with a blue color. If you attach an ortho slice to the resulting image, an appropriate color map is selected by default. To see this, hide the interactive thresholding preview by switching off the orange visibility button and the module icon in the project view or next to the module name and the properties panel. Now connect the first ortho slice to the thresholded data. After binarization, it may be necessary to separate some objects as shown in the next section. Separation. In the example data set, some of the pores in the foam appear to be touching, but ideally should be separated for proper analysis. Thresholding cannot avoid this type of output when the acquisition data is too coarse or noisy because the gray levels of the considered objects are not uniform enough across the volume or because the resolution is too low to distinguish some objects' boundaries. You can use the Separate Objects module to separate connected particles. Attach a Separate Objects module to the thresholded data. Set the marker extent port to 1 instead of the default value of 4. This is a contrast factor that controls the size of the seeds marking objects to be separated. Increasing this value can merge some markers and therefore decrease the number of separated objects. Then press the Apply button. A foam.separate data is generated in the project view. Attach the first ortho slice to the new data. The principle of the separate objects module is to compute watershed lines on a distance map. The separate objects module is a high level combination of the watershed, distance map, and H maxima modules. It can be used as a simple and straightforward separation tool, satisfying in most cases. You may notice, however, that the separation may be missing or unwanted, in particular with non convex shapes, when you also consider 3D. Analysis. You can then use an Analyze module to get the volume, surface area, mean value, number of voxels, etc. individually for each separated particle. The analysis on the stack of images is undertaken by the Label Analysis module to extract statistical and numerical information, including the measure of objects. Attach a Label Analysis module to the separated data. Set foam.am as intensity image in the dedicated port of the module. Now press the apply button. A new label image data object, foam.label, is created in the project view, and the tables panel is displayed, showing a spreadsheet style table of results. The analysis foam.label analysis is also created in the project view. The Spreadsheets toolbar offers the possibilities to copy parts of the table, export the spreadsheet in several formats, sort columns in ascending or descending order, plot a histogram corresponding to a measurement, and to do a label seek. The basic measures, as selected in the measures port of the module, are displayed in the table properties panel as shown below. Volume 3D, Area 3D, etc. Select the Volume 3D column in the lower spreadsheet. Click on the Histogram button in the toolbar. 
a window opens displaying the volume 3D histogram like this. In the measures port of the label analysis module, BASIC is a group of measures that contains the most commonly used measures, volume 3D, area 3D, barometric center X, barometric center Y, barometric center Z, and mean. It is also possible to define new groups of measures composed of predefined measures, but also of user-defined measures, but details about this would exceed the scope of this tutorial. Interactive Selection Aviso and Amira allow you to link the images in the 3D viewer to their corresponding rows in the analysis panel in order to locate individual objects with corresponding measures. Click on the Label Seek button in the Analysis Panel toolbar. A new ortho slice is automatically attached to the separated image and displayed in the 3D viewer, as well as a so-called point dragger. Select a cell of the analysis lower table. The point dragger moves to the corresponding object location in the 3D view. If the histogram of one of the analysis measures is displayed, a vertical line appears that displays the position and value of the selected row. In the viewer window, you can move the dragger using the rectangular handles and upon button release, the analysis table will highlight the corresponding object row. In order to move the dragger, you must set the viewer into interaction mode by pressing the escape key or clicking the arrow at the upper left. Then move the mouse over one of the dragger's crosshairs and press the left mouse button. The color of the picked crosshair changes. The movement of the dragger is restricted to the corresponding plane. As you can see, we've selected object 49. You can also click with the middle mouse button on a pickable object in the scene displayed in the 3D viewer, for instance, on a particular pore on a displayed slice. The dragger will move to the picked point and the corresponding spreadsheet row will also be highlighted. Filtering based on measures. You can filter particles displayed in your 3D viewer. For example, you can decide to visualize only particles which volume 3D belongs to a specified range. Attach an analysis filter to foam.labels-analysis. Connect the image port to foam.label. Create a new filter by entering volume 3D greater than or equal to 30,000 in the filter port. To insert volume 3D in the formula, you can type it or double click on it in the list displayed below the formula field. Press on the apply button. This creates a new analysis with fewer objects. You can verify that fewer objects have been created by connecting the ortho slice to a new label image foam.label-filtering. As a side remark, filtering driven by measures can be a powerful tool for data segmentation. It allows you to select or eliminate regions based, for instance, on size, shape factor, orientation, or combinations of several criteria. Classifying measures with sieves. You can define a set of value ranges that can then be used for displaying a histogram using this distribution or for creating a new label image showing the classification. Attach a sieve analysis module to foam.label-analysis. Connect the data port to foam.label. Add a value by changing the number of values to 4. Modify the suggested values by editing them or moving the corresponding marker in the histogram. You can also press on the detect button to get regular intervals. Press the apply button. A new label image, foam.sieved, has been created. Display the label image using a volume rendering module like this. Hide the volume rendering. Attach the first ortho slice to the label image foam.label. In the label image created along with the result spreadsheet, each particle has been identified and assigned a unique index. This label data is stored in this case as a 16-bit label image. Such images are displayed by default 
using a cyclic color map so that particles in close proximity are more likely to be shown in a different color. As a summary, this tutorial has introduced you to processing grayscale images, 3D versus 2D stack interpretation, binarization of grayscale images, separation, analysis and measures, interactive selection, measure filters, sieves, and label images. Goodbye, and thank you for viewing this tutorial.